Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to the second leg of the Champions League match against Bayern Munich. This is going to be tough. I'm just been thinking in my head right now, how am I going to win this? How am I going to come back from a 1-0 defeat? Uh, but that's sort of a result you would almost expect. Uh, playing away to Bayern Munich, um, it's not too bad. We couldn't get away goal, but yeah, what can you do? We're playing at home now, we're going to go out, but if they score away goals... It could be difficult. Uh, we had a draw against Manchester City um, in the Premier League. Again, it's not a bad result. We still kept our streak of being unbeaten, uh, which is really good. We only lost one match for the whole season. Again, uh, it was early in the season against Chelsea. Um, so yeah, because of that, because uh, really we've only yeah because of only losing one match, that's why we're going to win the title. So it's deservingly so as well. So I might want to uh, just before I get into the match because this will probably be another short episode, just doing the one. I want to show you my most, yeah, my most valuable regions we came through. But look, this guy, one of our regions who can play both right back and left back, but more so he's natural as a left back, but he's right footed. So he would be good in both positions, I would imagine. He's got the five star report, but he's already valued 1.5 million, Justin Spink. He might have to get a haircut. I'm not sure if you can for the regions, but still, um, he's really, really good. He's good physically, mentally, of course, you know, that just improves as they get older, but technically he's really good. Technique 12, tackling 11, passing 11, marking 12, and first touch 13. So he'll be good going forward as well, I would imagine. Um, hopefully, and he's quick. So he could be oh, he could be a really beast for us, especially as we need a left back. He could make an impact, who knows. Uh, yeah, both positions, right back and left back. He could be really good for us. But then you've got Tommy Goodchild as well. Uh, he's 16, he's valued a bit less, but still really good. another. He's a right back and could play center back also, so... Uh, we've got some amazing prospects in defense. Like this year's uh, youth intake was uh, very successful in terms uh, for the defensive players. Uh, also, we had Richidley uh, Bazoa, who we signed uh, from Ajax, I believe, at, in the start of the season uh, for 825k. Um, I reckon I'd see him more of as a defensive midfielder because he's good in terms of his passing. It's okay. He could be really, really good. So I'm excited about him as well. So there's a couple of our better, uh, younger types. And here's another guy, a guy who's only 15, Lucas Casey, um, attacking player. That's okay. He's got a three and a half star reports. He's determined, so that could be okay. But he still has to develop a bit more, but only 15. So that's very good. Uh, I want to show you my best striker here. Like, um, Who's our best striker we got here? 15-year-old Aaron Coyle. Uh, he doesn't, like, to me, he didn't seem too amazing. Only six finishing and seven composure, but... Uh, yeah, he's got good natural fitness. Hopefully, he'll be able to develop well. Um, he can play some multiple positions as well. Connor Hunt, he's not a regen we signed um, earlier. And Marvin Martin, there's a name for you. Um, he looks like a decent prospect. Again, he's got some decent attributes. He's okay, like in terms of his quickness. Um, off the ball's good. Flair, work rate, and finishing's 13 for a 16-year-old. Uh, that's pretty good if you ask me. So, just give you an overview of those. So, we're a big match here, probably the biggest match this season uh, in terms of Champions League, definitely. So, who are we going to bring back? Is Rooney, or oh, Rooney's just coming back? Should we make, we have to put, yeah, we have to have Rooney. He has to be in the team at least somewhere. Might have to take off Fabio. Uh, yeah, Fabio has to, I'm not sure. I think Van Persie will have to start for Welbeck. Hernandez has been on goal scoring form. Um, yeah, Van Persie have to bring him on there, even though he's not happy. Um, as you know, I forced him to take injections. Well, actually, he rejected to have them, so that's what happened with that. And Pogba's still injured, unfortunately. That's a crucial injury for us, unfortunately. I'm going to put Jones, because uh, Raphael, mm, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I'm going to leave Jones out and have Smalling. Smalling will be the backup. Actually, Smalling's been scoring goals. I have to put him on for Ferdinand. Vidic, I don't know. And then we have to bring in Belanta for Rose. Belanta, you know, he's the better defender. Uh, Phil Jones, I probably want to put him in, but uh, we've really got... Yeah, I'll take Ferdinand off for him because Jones can play multiple uh, positions. We'll bring in uh, Fellaini uh, for Fletcher. Box-to-box uh, -box midfielder is going to be a problem. Now, I'm going to have to put Carrick in and then put Carrick defensive midfield for Fellaini. Uh, Nani, mm, I'm not sure. Uh, who else do we have right midfield? Valencia, yeah, Valencia has to come in. Uh, Young... Now, I'll take Young off for Nanny and then bring on Young for Nanny. most likely. That's what will happen. Or Wilfred Zaha in an important game. Uh, Giggs, I don't think... Uh, I don't know. Giggs, Welbeck. I'll probably... I don't think I put... I don't think Welbeck would be up to... I don't think if I put him on, I don't think he can score. 
Uh, but at least um, Zaha, he's got that bit of trickery about him. He's got good dribbling and flair and pace. So he could be actually an impact player. But Welbeck seems, uh, to me, seems like a player low on confidence. And he just does well against lower Premier League sides, mid-table sides. Just my experience throughout the season. And Zaha, he, he's one who could provide that spark off the bench. So that's why I'm putting him there. So we've had a big season. Unbeaten, yeah, beaten only once uh, by Chelsea earlier in the season. So... And the, yeah, the rest matches have been unbeaten, winning most games. But yeah, of course, we just lost against Bayern Munich um, away. Who it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough, definitely. Uh, they've got quite a few players that I could tackle hard, and hopefully they can maybe get an injury or two. We'll just see. And now, uh, not on him, uh, play instructions. And then, uh, they've got too much good players. This is not fair. <laughs> Goethe, Thiago. Oh... Uh, or what, Robin, where's Robin, or, they're not playing Robin, or Ribéry, this might be my chance, what's happened to, are they injured or something, please be injured, please, oh look at that, they got Lamb injured, Javi Martinez is suspended, Robin's injured, and Ribéry, they haven't even selected Ribéry in the team, and he's not even injured, I don't get it, oh yeah, because he's conditioned 76, so this is a good chance for us, this is a very, very good chance, they're losing, well, not losing, they're missing a lot of players uh, in their team, but still, their team's quality. Uh, but I suppose we are as well. Um, look at this starting 11. What? Manduki says striker. Yeah, he's a good striker. Thiago Senamid and Cruz, well, they're still good, obviously, then Goethe and Muller. So they've still got world class players. It's not going to be easy uh, to win, but it's still it's a bit easier without Robin and Ribéry and Javi Martinez and Lamb. So that's pretty good. But who's, our, who's their fullbacks? Uh, Alaba and Boateng, Whoa, that's still strong. But they've got Van Boyten um, as a centre-back and Boots Stubber. That's not too amazing if you ask me. We can definitely exploit that, hopefully. And if we can, we'll be moving to the next stage of Champions League. Knock our sages. I need Van Persie to lift in terms of his morale. He needs to step up. Um, he listened passionately, so hopefully some players didn't get good reactions, but some players did. It's a bit of a mix there, so... I'm not sure, yeah, no idea what's going to happen, but we are at home. I'm confident we can uh, have our players to lip, lift. And if you look here, Boateng right back, not his natural position, and Van Boyten in defense as uh, center back. So um, we could have a chance. Uh, Fellaini uh, posing an injury uh, for someone uh, who's doing his job. Uh, Fel oh, Raphael, Fellaini. Oh, Van Persie scores. Important goal, and he makes it 1-1. Very important. I did. I wanted that goal, early goal. And, of course, Van Persie was going to step up. Valencia coming in. Um, th of then, of course, Fellaini. And he, he assisted. Fellaini assisted the goal for Van Persie. We are actually dominating possession, uh, which is surprising, especially with Thiago. And they have Cruz. So they are very good passers of the ball. But I find my midfield is more stronger, especially in terms of the strength of the players with Carrick and Fellaini. They are very strong players, as you know. Uh, but still, we need to get another goal to win. Obviously, it's equal and aggregate because they won 1-0 at home and now we're winning 1-0 at home. Uh, still could be extra time, but I have a feeling we could score mo multiple goals uh, the way how we attack like this. Hernandez, Van Persie, Nani. Oh, now uh, now is probably the best goalkeeper in the world, in my view. So it's going to be hard to beat him. Van Persie. Uh, it's going to be tough. But yeah, imagine how tough it would be if they had Robin and Ribéry. Um, see, because they're not going to, in my opinion, they won't uh, pose a threat to us in attack without Ribéry and Robin. Um, Goetz is not really a winger for mine. He's more of a, a central attacking midfielder. So yeah, they're not going to be a threat out wide like they would be uh, with Ribéry and Robin. So thank God for that, definitely. Oh, Nani gets passed. Oh, Valencia. Cross it in. Oh... It was too close to Nauer. And Goethe has got a knocked as well. So it's it's looking good for us to capitalize here. Awful Lani, well done. Just don't get a red. Hernandez. Goals a chance. So we're dominating possession. Look at that. Oh, no. What did I say? I always get red cards. Yep. We're going to get knocked out. Because of stupid decisions. No, not, I mean, like, just by my players, not referee. 
I really, I, I'm probably, I'm just going to go one striker now. So we're dominating possession up until now. I, can't, I we would have, if we didn't get a red card, we would have dominated. You could see with the possession. I think it's time for Hernandez to come off, not come off, just come into midfield. But then, Van Persie go to there, change to advance forward. This is what I normally okay. No, I, I remember I scored when I had it on complete forward. So Hernandez will be making way here. I'm not sure whether to put experience or skill. Uh, Rooney. I reckon Rooney. Even though he's not 100% fit, he has to come in. 70% is okay. Uh, to play for, yeah, just for 45 minutes pretty much. I reckon, yeah, he can do that. And I don't know, we just hopefully get a lucky goal or go in for penalties, uh, play for the draw. But we were you saw we were dominating them, really. So it's unfortunate we picked up a red, especially late in the half. And I'm pleased with that, definitely. What? Why did they get a bad result? We're winning the game, 1-0. See, there, I don't know whether to say, oh, I thought that meant, like, we're, we're, because we're winning the game, I thought they'd be happy with that. Because uh, we're not winning on aggregate. I think that might have been why. See, I was just confused there, whether to say I'm pleased or not. But you got to, yeah, you got to be pleased. We're dominating them. Really. You see the possession. We've got more possession, you see here, even with a less player. But you think they'll start to gain domination here? You would think, anyway. But there, look, we're pushing up again. So, we, oh, please don't make a mistake, please. No. Oh, well, one in midfield. Come on. But if we concede, I'll lose all hope. <laughs> uh, Nani, get through. Rooney, Carrick. Oh, no. Don't, oh, please. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. He hit the post. I really... Oh, Gertz is off, which is a good thing. Need to make changes somehow. But we need a score as well. I want to win it. Not go extra time. I'm feeling extra time. We might get undone with our fitness levels. Uh, Raphael now bring on the more defensive Phil Jones. And as like I was said I was going to do, uh, bring on Zaha. Got to have that the, the, the pace, uh, the skill. That's what's going to help us win, really. Uh, Phil Jones, and I've got to have the support role on complete forward for Van Persie, so he helps pushing into midfield, so we can dominate there a bit more, and then Valencia and um, Zaha can make runs and hopefully play balls into them. We'll just see how it goes. It's good we're still having the majority, or not majority, we're still just above 50-50. Uh, Set PC of Valencia, yes, Vidic. We needed that. And now we just need it, yeah, settle down. We do, that's what kind of goal we needed, a set piece. We, pr we probably weren't going to score um, just with one striker up front and Vidic had to pounce. And yeah, I didn't want to risk by uh, playing two strikers and a less man in midfield. Whew. What an effort by my team here. Hopefully can hold on because if they score, they win because two away goals. Oh no, they'll one away goal. Oh, uh, they'll win, yeah. Yeah, they'll win because I didn't score a away goal, of course. Whew, last 30 seconds coming up here. Hopefully we can hold on. Shakiri in the defensive half. No. Rooney, good professional foul. Picked up a yellow. That's important just to waste the time. It should be over here. Good defending. Zaha, just run to the corner. Run. That's it. It's all over. Somehow we made it through. No idea why, but it definitely was a big part to Nemanja Vidic. Uh, was fantastic in defense, 8.4 rating. Uh, but Valencia was crucial as well uh, from right midfield. And Rooney did the job coming on. Fantastic effort, passionate. Now, hopefully it'll work. Now they get the good reaction. And of course, Van Persie's important goal helped us on the way. And then Vidic uh, with the second uh, from the rebound from the corner. That was crucial. I, honestly, I wasn't expecting to win, especially after the red card. But look at that. For the majority of the game, well, not really majority, 45 minutes, um, we still dominated possession, 57%. They only had one shot on target. Fantastic effort. But of course, I think it would have been a different game if Robin and Reba Re were playing. And yeah, it would have been harder for me to score, no doubt, if Lam was playing and Javi Martinez 
uh, that would have been in uh, defensive midfield. It would have been harder to break them down, no doubt. But we move on, and Borussia Dortmund, after looking like they could have uh, faced defeat and being knocked out uh, against Benfica when it was uh, 3-2 um, on aggregate or uh, after the first leg, they came up away and won 4-0. Whew, a big effort by them, definitely. And oh, yeah, that was a really good effort. Imagine how pleased uh, they, uh, the manager, would have been after that four nil away, after losing at home three two, a good effort. So, um, that was pretty good. We given uh, given some more money uh, for winning, fantastic. So if we can beat Bayern Munich, but I don't know, it's hard to credit it. It's really hard to credit that win because they were yeah, like I've said, I'm not going to keep mentioning the players because I've already said it. You know the players they didn't play for them. Um, it definitely wasn't their first, their best lineup, but it wasn't our best lineup as well. Rooney was not fit. Um, well, he came off the bench. We were missing Pogba. Well, I suppose Pogba was the only key player we were missing, and Rooney had to come off the bench. And yeah, that was pretty much it. And Fellaini for half of the game, but uh, that was a massive effort. So I think I'm, I'm going to play through it to the 11th, so you can see who I get drawn against uh, right here. Uh, so, yeah, if you think you can beat Bayern Munich, we can beat anyone, definitely. So I don't really care who we get drawn against. And I do want to beat the best teams. And I do want to win consecutive uh, Champions Leagues. That's what this series... It's not all about Champions League, but that's one main reason. And with a save, especially on YouTube... But, yeah, with if you're doing a save yourself, you need to have multiple goals with your save. With a um, Yeah, you need... There's heaps of things you can think of. But for me, yeah, definitely Champions League dominance... Uh, that is one of the main things, and for me, turning the youth prospects into a bit like how Barcelona are pretty much. Uh, there's no, yeah, there's no Barcelona really in the Premier League, like in terms of their setup. Like they got heaps of players in their reserve team, like Barcelona B, who can come in and play uh, a good job and uh, have a lot of the players. But I'm not really going to do that. But that that's a part down to it. Have a lot of their players from yeah their youth setup. Um, yeah, that is what. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, because you know the majority of Barcelona teams, they came through their ranks. That's what I want to try and do. But still, I'm going to sign big players because you have to really if you want to be competitive. As PSG came back against Barcelona and they won on aggregate, I I'll probably want to face uh, PSG more than Barcelona because Messi. Messi, he hates I or I hate Messi uh, when I play against him because he's too good in the game. Uh, that's it. And did Juventus? Juventus won against Real Madrid. Again, I would rather face Juve uh, than Real Madrid because Ronaldo. So they're knocked out as well. Uh, Jordi Alba, he's a good player. But as I said, Messi, key player, of course. Pablo Fernandez, look at that. Wow. How are we supposed to beat that? Somehow PSG did, but don't forget they have Ibra. But yeah, Messi. So let's see their hot prospect, uh, uh, Pedro Fernandez. 14. I've never seen a 14-year-old that good. Wow. Have to get a scout report on him. Well, he could be potentially the next Messi as well. Pedro Fernandez. He's looking good. He looks really good. He's got 16 dribbling for a 14-year-old. Wow. And you're going to get a scout report on him. And that's how you find regions. Sometimes you just find them randomly when checking teams. And Zaha, he came back uh, on injury. He played another game uh, for there. Uh, so yeah, the rest of the games, I'm not sure um, how important. FA Cup, I'm not sure. It's only against Nottingham Forest. You think I'll win that comfortably, and then I'll show the final. Uh, Fernandez, yeah, he doesn't want to come to my team, but what what can you do? I might, I'll definitely. Okay, he ha he actually some some interest, so he might actually accept. Because he's really he's probably one of the better regions I've ever seen. He's only fourteen. I'd never see them that young before, so I'm not sure how much to offer for them. I've got, I'll just offer like 10 million, see what they get a result from that. Uh, I'm sure they wouldn't want to sell him for a cheap fee. So, yeah, I still have to go through to. Uh, let's see this Champions League semi final draw. Uh, Chelsea, yep, they won in the rope. They get knocked out of that as well. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, Chelsea's not even the Champions League. Okay. To be honest, this is easier teams than I would imagine. I would imagine there would have been like Barcelona and Real Madrid at least. Those two big uh, teams. And no English teams as well. Like no Man City. Uh, could be good. Dortmund. To be honest. Ooh. Oh, I don't really care. Yeah, face Dortmund. Um, they lost their home leg um, at home 3-2 against Benfica. No doubt they came up. So, they've got some injuries as well. Oh, Goskrit and Subotic are suspended for the next game. 
that's okay. And Holtby, uh, he's injured. I suppose Tottenham sold him. Yep. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it. We we're going to play it uh, against Dortmund. Um, there, then we got semi final. I won't show that. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably just show Dortmund. I'll probably, yeah, this is all about Champions League for now because I'm going to win the league, no doubt. We've got some easy matches coming up. Look, Fulham, Aston Villa, Everton, Southampton, and Cardiff. You think I'll pick up enough wins? Uh, how much wins do I need? One more, and I've got it. Who knows? One or two more, and I've got it. So you think that will happen for sure? So it's going to be all about the Champions League for the rest of this season and maybe the FA Cup final. And yeah, that'll be it. And then, yeah, last game, I might show the last game or. Um, to round off the uh, the season, we'll see how it goes. So hopefully enjoy this series. If you do, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.